Welcome to clickmeproject.com where we discuss about the process automatic detection of x-rays in diabetic retinopathy images. Let me discuss about the process of automatic detection of x-rays in diabetic retinopathy images. Uh, initially, the retinal, uh, color channels and the retinal images were separated. Filtering process is done. Uh, we are using Gaussian filter in order to filter the images. Then the images were enhanced using history from the equalization and normalization operations. Then uh, for, for uh, normal images, optical, optical disk is segmented and for the other images, uh, uh, we are segmenting the defected regions. That is for X-rays, we are segmenting the X-ray portions and for hemorrhages, we are segmenting the hemorrhage portions and for microanalysis, we are segmenting the uh, uh, microanalysis portions. So for that segmentation, we are applying uh, um, uh, level set segmentation algorithm. Then uh, we are extracting the features from the images using local binary pattern. So the extracted features uh, uh, were saved uh, and we are training the database by extracting the features for all the images in the database. So the training features and the test features were passed into the uh, probabilistic neural network classifier, the probabilistic neural network classifier. Classifies the uh, uh, input retinal images into the four categories that we call specified. That is a normal image, or X-ray defector, or hemorrhage defector, or a microanalysis defector. So these four defects were de identified, and the results were displayed. Finally, we are uh, measuring the accuracy, sensitivity, and specificity of the classifier, and the results were uh, displayed. Thank you. Let me discuss about the flow of the process, automatic detection of X-rays in diametric retinopathy images. So initially the retinal images were uh, uh, pre-processed. So for pre-processing we are using uh, Gaper filters. So Gaper filters processes the optimal load utilization properties in both spatial and frequency domains. The impulse responses of these filters is created by multiplying a Gaussian envelope function with a complex oscillation. The phase difference of the left and the right filter responses to the estimator is part in the uh, stereo images. Then after that, uh, we are applying the segmentation process. Before segmentation, uh, the images were enhanced by using histogram equalization process. So the color channels of the images were separated. Uh, then histogram equalization is applied to each channel. The images uh, histogram equalization process normalizes the each color pixels of the image. As a result of histogram equalization, color channel values of the image were equalized so that the images are much uh, clear has uh, much clear color information. Finally, the color channels were combined. Normalization of the images uh, includes that the average value of the color color channels are added to the each color channels. This will result in the increase in the contrast of the retinal image, which clearly identifies the defector or the brighter pixels in the image. Finally, the color channels are combined so that the images are used for uh, further process. Then for segmentation, we are using level set segmentation. Uh, level set segmentation segments the images based on the pixel intensities. Normally, optical disk and the affected regions were brighter than the other pixels. The pixels that have high pix pixel intensity is found out by comparing the pixel values. The location where high pixel intensity identified were caught. Those regions were blackened and the other regions were uh, replaced from the original color image. Then uh, for segmentation, we are, then after segmentation, we are applying feature extraction. So for feature extraction, we are using uh, local binary pattern algorithm. So it will be feature vector in the simplest form, creating the discrete in the following manner. So images divided into cells. So for each pixel in the cell, uh, the compared the pixel of its to the uh, eight neighbors, following the pixels along the circle, that is clockwise or counterclockwise. When the pixel center value is uh, greater than the original neighboring value, that is 1, otherwise 0, the, this gives an 8 digit uh, binary number. Compute the histogram over all cells, the frequency of the number occurring, optimize and normalize the histogram. Then cut the histogram of all the cells, skills the feature vector of the middle. Finally, we get a feature vectors and then uh, piece of scientist is the same as Similarly, we are training the features and the scientist training the features. Then these three, two features are compa combined and they are given to the uh, probabilistic neural network. So the probabilistic neural network classifies the input uh, uh, retinal image into normal or exudate or microanalysis of the results. We are identifying four type of defects in the retinal image. Let me see the running procedure of the process. Automatic detection of X-rays in uh, diabetic retinopathy images. So if you want to run the code, select the file main.m which is located in the source code folder. Right click it and uh, click on select run file. So you will get the game video which is required to order to run the program. So select the input image. So uh, select any one of the input image that is uh, given in the uh, data set. So we are going to identify uh, mass microanalysis, hemorrhages and exudates in the retinal images. So uh, you you can give any one of the images uh, present in the uh, data set that we have given. So the uh, images were selected and then uh, the channels were the 
three in in the channels are separated and then uh, pre processing is applied uh, using uh, gaber filter and the result is displayed here uh, then histogram equalization is applied then a uh, normalization is applied to the input images and then uh, we are segmenting the uh, input image so here od region is alone segmented then uh, we are extracting the features from the image so for feature extraction we are using mpb feature extraction so here the training image features were extracted and this is a test image features Mm. Then after that uh, we are performing the classification. So for classification we are using probabilistic neural network. So the PNN uh, classifies the input image as a normal image and the accuracy, sensitivity and specificity values were uh, measured and the uh, obtained values were uh, plotted as a graph. So uh, uh, we are using probabilistic neural network. Uh, please run the code in uh, MATLAB uh, higher versions like uh, 2011 like that uh, in the lower visions uh, these um, functions were uh, not uh, readily available the code and the code uh, will not run so please run it in a uh, higher visions uh, similarly we can also classify other uh, uh, other images like uh, if you uh, if we give uh, any of the uh, like uh, if we give some micro aneurysm images so we are performing the same process we are segmenting the particular regions and uh, we are extracting the features from the images and then we are uh, classifying uh, so we got uh, we are segmenting the x rays we are identifying the x rays so uh, like that uh, we can classify uh, we have given uh, we have given uh, four categories such as x rays microaneurysm and uh, uh, images and the uh, normal images so like that uh, we are doing the uh, process thank you